My role in a lot of sports management companies taught me more about the sponsor servicing angle, sponsorship sales, rather than pure uh, talent identification. I think I more kind of learned that when I worked at RCB. And that, funnily enough, was quite a unique phase in my career because um, back in 2009, 10, and 11, uncapped Indian players who used to be part of the IPL were signed outside the auction. It's very right. different from what it is today. Right. Where every single player goes into the auction pool and then they're bought in an auction. Where so the team could scout players, basically. The team could scout players provided you were a full-time employee. Right. Of the so towards, I think, uh, the end of 2010, if you remember, RCB had a South African coach uh, called Ray Jennings. Yeah, and uh, uh, he was very, very keen to always look at upcoming talent and you know any kind of good uncapped talent that you could recruit into a franchise. Right. Now, what happened uh, at that season, uh, 2010? We had an Under-19 World Cup, and India didn't win that World Cup. If you remember, two years prior, yeah. we had won the Under-19 World Cup in 2008. But the 2010 batch had a bunch of really, really exciting, talented batsmen. That was obviously Mandeep Singh's batch, Mayank Agarwal, KL Rahul. They were all part of that. Yep. But because we didn't win that World Cup, it kind of got hidden in a bit of media space. And I one day was just number crunching, researching, looking at a few stats online. And Mayank Agarwal had top scored for India in that particular Under-19 World Cup in 2010. So I read a lot about him. Uh, I read about some of the innings that he played. And I took all this to Ray Jennings and I said, this uh, player looks exciting. Uh, would you like to bring him to one of your talent camps and see how, how he is? Right. And then obviously got in touch with him, found out what was happening. And we realized that another franchise already had their eye on him. Uh, so he obviously was uh, a good player who people were looking at. So we right. brought him to the camp. Ray Jennings saw him and in two next sessions said, I want to sign him for RCB. So oh, okay. he got signed as an uncapped player. And then 2011, he opened the batting first with Dilshan and then later on with Chris Gill. Yep. So that was where my relationship actually started with Mayank because I was right. on the other side of the fence, uh, you know, looking after talent identifications and then doing a bit of uh, this back-end work. Right. And then 2017, all those years later, um, I got to now work with him on his commercial portfolio. So right. it's been like an over a decade-long association Especially with him. 